Hello YouTubers, so this video is on how to wire up a Valcom 10, 1001 self-amplified speaker. Formerly known as kind of, let's say, the easy install basic self-amplified speaker. So there's a model there. Now, I've already pre-attached a wire to this to test it. So I'm just using this wire here. But I know you probably want to see how this is set up. First terminal at the top is tip. Second terminal is rig. That's your where your audio source is going to go into. And here's your minus 24 volts. And here's your G and D. And there, notice how I have the order of the wires. I'll explain that further when I start pre-attaching this. So here is your other end here. Now in terms of audio cables. There's many audio cables you can use. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this 3.5mm auxiliary cable. Most of them, if you chop the other end off, you will you will be greeted with these wires here. This bare copper wire is the ground. And the red and the white, that is your audio left and right channels. You want to take these two wires, twist them together. Like so. Just twist them together like that. So all your channels can go into this Valcom speaker here. Some cables may look like this. Where you have two bare copper wires. You still want to twist your red and the white together. But also these two bare copper wires. You also want to twist them together. Like that. So. The cable to stay away from. Is this. If you chop an end of this. A cable like this off. And then you get greeted with this type of wire here. This very. Thin copper wire. You want to take this and throw in the garbage. It's so good. For my power source, we're just going to be using this bench power supply here. Ideally, you want to use a power supply like this. This is specially designed for these. And if you want to know the model, there it is. Any 24 volt power supply will work. Matter of fact, these will also run on 12 volts with no issues. Other than a little bit of sound distortion because they're kind of underpowered at that point. These are designed to run on 24 volts. So now, let's prefabricate my cable, audio cable here. We're just going to use this 3.5mm cable here. Auxiliary cable. I twisted my red and the white wire together. We're going to make this here my yellow alligator lead. This will be my tip. My bare copper wire, we're going to set that as my ring. My ring wire. I'll put it off to the side here. And now, this green here, I set this one to be my, my ring. Well, no, but it's my tip. This is my tip, and this is my ring, as you can see. Green is my tip. So, we're going to move this yellow alligator lead to this green wire. And then we're going to move my ring to this yellow wire. Just like that. Next up is the power situation. So this red is my G and D. I know you may think it's ground, but Valcom, I don't know why they did it like that, but that's the way they did it. So this is where my this is where my positive lead will go. And my negative lead's gonna go on that negative 24 volt terminal. We're just gonna clip it like that. And now, I'm just going to loosely set the cables there so nothing shorts. So now, I should be able to turn on this power supply. And I heard a pop. That's good. That means that my device is powered. We're connected to my 
audio source, which happens to be a laptop. And there you go, you heard it pop. There. And there you go. Now this particular wood, the volume control is this little hole here. Here's the power draw. Since these ones don't have an accessible volume control knob, you want to use a flat blade or a flat head screwdriver and get it in that control and you can adjust it from there like that. So yeah, that's how you wire one of these up. And in terms of wire, all you need is something like this. Telephone, station, four conductor cable, or you could use a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. If you use a Cat5 or Cat6 cable, you don't have to use all eight pairs. You you can separate. You really need two pairs out of the out of the four on the. This one's just four conductor. This will work just fine on something like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very useful.